guys, welcome back, it's Dylan, and this week I wanted to do a quick little home decor, DIY, Pinterest slash Tumblr inspired type of video. I want to show you guys how I go about doing this whole gallery wall uh, right here, because I've had a few of my friends ask me how I go about doing it because they like it a lot. That reason, but also the other one is that I went to uh, Urban Outfitters not too long ago and literally, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> That store, they're making so much money off of stupid shit. Fuck. Like, that store is like literally business 101. Like, fuck. They charge all this shit is so stupid and like literally so overpriced that like it blows my mind. I mean, don't get me wrong, I totally would have bought half that crap if I wasn't so. What's the word? Poor? But yeah, it's just really stupid crap. So I figured half of that crap I have at home or lying around and like I can definitely do it myself. So. I figured why don't I take my own take on it and do it for like a quarter of the price. I mean also too, the other thing is that when you look at men's home decor, it's always so stupid and like overly masculine to the point where you're like, what? Like, Cause like literally when you look at home decor for men, there's like either it's like very dark oak wood, like, like it's almost like a club in a way. I mean don't get me wrong, I totally would love a club as my room, but anyways that aside, I want to do this video for like those few reasons. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So for the first DIY, what you'll need are some old magazines or some magazines that you don't really care that the pages get cut out of them. Some magazines that I highly recommend using are GQ's, Vogue's, and Vogue Ohm. Uh, now I could be pronouncing that wrong since I barely pass French, so very sorry. So after you find the page you want, I recommend cutting from behind and spreading the gutter as far as you can. And so what this does is that you don't really see the paper left from the cutout page. After you have your page cut out, you want to see what it looks like in the border, slash whether it fits in the way you want it to. After you do that, what I find helpful to do is put two pieces of tape on the back of your image, sticky sides up, and then putting the border on top. And then once it's lined up, all you have to do is push down and tape the other corners and you're done. And of course, the very last things you have to do are clean your frame because you don't want smudge marks on it and put the backing on and then you are finally done. The next DIY is something we all have seen and sorry for talking about it again, but I really like it. It's this whole clothes line string along thing where you put like pictures on it. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. And what I'd like to hang along this whole clothesline uh, string along thing are either postcards that I've picked up along my travels, uh, Polaroids, which is super basic, I know, um, or just things that I find very cool. And then what I used to hang these uh, images or postcards are these binder clips. I don't know if they're called binder clips or like big paper clips. You can pick them up at Staples. I think you all know what they are, what they're called. But anyways, I use these. Uh, I use either like silver ones or black ones because I find they just blend in or look nicer. So once you have the images clipped to the twine, uh, you just want to take your whole entire row and then tie it up to your rack or if you want to pin it to your wall. And so what you'll need for this uh, DIY uh, are some dollar store flowers. And I, these ones I picked up a long time ago and you don't have to get these ones. You can always put a little bit more money in depending on how nice you want them to look. Uh, and then a pot. And this one I have no idea where I got it from. It was just lying around my house. And so then with your dollar store flowers, uh, these ones that came in really, really long before, uh, like, again, I had this a long time ago. So these ones were really long. So all I did was cut the bottoms of them. And then what I did is I bent them so they would sit a little bit higher up in the pot. Thinking about it now, I definitely could have just properly measured out how long I want the, the flowers to go, but that's not how I do things because I'm disorganized. And so then with your twine, and if you have a glue gun, this definitely use the glue gun because it's probably a lot easier. But what you'll do is just tie these uh, flowers together and just spread them out evenly and put them in your pot and you are done.
These next two DIYs and the last ones are for these really awkward and blank spaces you have in your gallery walls. So the first one, if you have a, I, I think it's like a Panama hat or like a big fedora, like this one right here, just get a thumbtack, put it on the wall and hang your fedora from it and that's it. And so for the last DIY, what you'll need is a suit hanger. And with a suit hanger, it's gonna have the bar and those two clips on the bottom. That's important because you'll need something to hang your magazine from. And so uh, just hang your clothes hanger on the wall and then put your magazine or your newspaper on top of it and you're done. If you're looking for a really cool newspaper to put on your hanger, definitely check out the Mr. Porter Post. It's a really cool menswear and lifestyle newspaper that comes every month. You can subscribe to it. I will leave the link down below. So that is pretty much it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little video, or if it wasn't quick, because I haven't edited it yet, maybe it was long. But I hope you guys liked it, learned some new things from it, got inspired, and all of that. And don't forget, be sure to go hit that subscribe button down below, like this video, let me know what you guys think about it, because I will make more videos, since I have nothing better to do. And yeah, see ya.